The first thing that annoys me in Illustrator is that whenever you have stroked outlines in an illustration, and we do have a bunch of them in this one, is the fact that whenever you need to resize the whole thing, the stroke size actually remains the same, so it ends up looking messed up. So having to select them again and adjust the stroke size manually is just so boring. Instead, select one of them, go to the toolbar and from the window tab panel, select transform and then make sure to have scale, strokes and effects checked. Now, when you want to resize the vectors, Illustrator will do all of the work for you and keep things in proportion, ending up with an illustration that works even if you need to scale down. So when you look at the stroke, you can see that the sizing is automatically adjusted and you've just saved yourself the headache of finding each stroke and adjusting. The second one is a tip that I'm sure you're going to appreciate. I feel like I always end up making copies of illustrations or elements outside the artboard and that great background is just not that great. So instead of either creating a new artboard or adjusting the current one or placing a wide rectangle behind everything, there's a shortcut that I want you to try out. You can hit Shift, Command, Control, H and your artboard is now massive, as big as Illustrator will allow you to have it. And that should give you all of the space that you need to create copies, new elements or just stretch out whatever you're creating. Also, whenever you hit that shortcut again, you can get back to the initial artworks and export things at the size that you intended to work on in the first place. This takes us to the third tip, which is how to keep textures contained. Let's say that I'll create this stroke pad that I'm going to apply a texture brush on. But when I actually go to the stroke panel and apply it, it's going to go over everything when I actually just want it to be inside the pink shape. So what I used to do in the past is take the pen tool and try to mask things up. For example, creating a shape and then sampling the color of the sleeve when there's actually an easier way to do it. Now, with the shape selected, go and enable the draw inside mode, which lets you draw elements inside the particular shape and get clipped so they don't spill over. Then you can take the pen tool and start creating a shape that's similar to the one we did in the beginning of the video. But the difference now is that it's actually going to be visible only within the selected shape. The only thing left is to switch up the swatches so you have a stroked outline and apply the grain texture. The nice part of doing this way is that once you disable the drawing side mode, you end up with only one element and whenever you want to make changes, you can actually double click to go inside it and you can move the stroked outline whenever you want it without worrying about how it affects other elements nearby. Double click to get out of it and you're set. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe and let me know in the comment section which tip is your favorite. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!